Alright, the world is a pretty mental place, as we all know. Um, and the trouble is, most of us stay in the same place most of our lives. And there's some pretty unbelievable places that exist in this world. Because fact is stranger than fiction, man. And I'm going to be showing you a lot of that today. So, yeah, it's going to be quite a calming video. And I'm going to try and give you some facts and some made-up stuff about these places. Because, you know, mostly going to be off the cuff. Here are 10 unbelievable places that actually exist. Alright, in at number 10 we have Salar de, Salar de Ayuni. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's in Bolivia. And it's commonly referred to as the world's largest mirror. Stretching 80 miles across, it's often used to achieve land speed records. Because, you know, not so much traffic on there more clouds which are much less likely to cause a collision if you wanted to feel like you were really just chilling out in the clouds this would be the place to come if you really liked looking at yourself um, this would be the place to come not a good place for narcissists to come here's some piles of stuff don't know what they are salt probably it's a big salt flat because it used to be an old lake ages ago but yeah narcissists would not have a good time here or maybe you'd have a great time actually because you wouldn't actually fall into it because there's no water but yeah, that's a pretty cool place. What the heck is this, I hear you ask? Tulip, tulip fields in Holland is the answer. These are a load of tulips, just knocking about. Holland, there you go, classic image of Holland there. And they're pretty damn neat with their tulip organization. Here's a tractor man, just, I don't know, deadheading them, collecting them, killing them, basically. And they're stretched out in these lovely lines. Um, popular with the bees, this location. Um, some more tulips there for you. Uh, did I mention these are tulips? <sighs> uh, oh, I should have researched this one a bit more. There he is. Loving it. Loving life. Some tulips on the floor there. Alright, in at number 8 we have the Tunnel of Love in Ukraine. Not that kind of Tunnel of Love. Although, stretching 1.8 miles, this magical mystery tour has been known to have a magical effect on lovers for some reason. Uh, probably a good idea to visit it in the autumn because people like to see all the mental colours. And good that trains aren't there anymore. Alright, in at number 7 we have the Enchanted River in the Philippines. Haters will say this is photoshopped, but it's not. It's just a very uh, clean river. And people like to go swimming in it, there are fish and stuff. But what's interesting about the fish is apparently while fishermen have tried, none have ever been able to catch any over the whole time people have been knocking about. Uh, people like to swim in it, but they've got to exit the swimming area for an hour each day so the fishermen can feed the fish. I don't know if it's the fishermen that are feeding them. I don't think I'd be feeding them if I was been trying to catch them, and I couldn't. I'd be too bitter. But anyway, there it is. It's a bit salty. goes straight into the Pacific Ocean, and it's pretty rock and roll. So, yeah, enjoy it from here, from the, from the screen. <laughs> Alright, in at number 6 we have Radhu Island in the Maldives, also known as the Sea of Stars. This uh, magical place basically has a sea where there's a load of blue glowing stuff in it and you can move your feet around and it glows and basically it's bioluminescent plankton. So some kind of algae or whatever, some science stuff happens and the plankton glows. There's not a lot of footage of this exact place actually, so I found some other footage and this is actually in Wales, in the UK. And you can also see this kind of stuff in Thailand, probably a lot of places actually. But it's pretty sweet, nice little miracle of nature. And yeah, I don't know, yeah. Alright, and number five is the Zange Mountains in China. These are mentaloid things have all these cool sort of sedimentary layers on them. There's a bottle in the foreground there. Yeah, people say they look like zebras. I don't know if anyone actually does say that, but I'm saying that now. Um, they look like zebras apart from the fact that they are not stripy. <laughs> but you know what? There's also these stripy mountains in a place called Peru. Uh, that was only discovered a few years ago. And so this is all, yeah, that's, yeah, that's the Peruvian mountains there. I don't know if it's true, it was only discovered a few years ago. Surely people had found it. I just heard that on a YouTube video. Some people hugging there just out of pure joy for their mountain. Alright, in at number four we have Lake Retba in Senegal. This is not a big um, deposit of Teletubby custard, contrary to popular belief. It is in fact a certain species of algae 
that gives it its characteristic pink color. It's got a high salt content, around 40%, and some pretty cool fish probably and stuff in there. And I, I think you'll find the locals knock about um, fishing, getting salt, floating around, and just generally enjoying life, donkeying around, taking selfies. And yeah, it's, it's the most pink between the dry season, or in the dry season between June and October. Some pink bubbles there. And sadly enough, I don't think it's actually that pink up close. Oh no, it is. I've got that completely wrong. Look, if you were looking really close, it wouldn't be that pink. If you had your eyeballs up against it. Or maybe it would be. I don't know. Don't listen to me. Alright, in at number three is Zhangyage Park in China. This UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1992 is now a popular tourist attraction. Um, archaeological studies actually also found some pottery or some stuff that is about 100,000 years old. So there's been people knocking about on these things for ages. Also, I think it was used as this mental guy there doing that. It was also used in Avatar uh, for some of the filming of that, I think. But yeah, you can just go there, vlog, film yourself from some mountains, climb them, do whatever you want. Actually, I don't think you can climb them. Don't, again, don't do that. But you can look at them and imagine you're King Kong. If you're a King Kong, you could maybe hop from mountain to mountain. Be a good sort of exercise. Okay, number two is the Mendenhall Glacier in Alaska. In the southeastern part of Alaska, you can take a trek through the mountains, through the forest, to this 13.6 mile long underground ice cave with your dogs or without them. And it's pretty cool, literally. Um, you can touch the ice, you can think about life, get pensive, um, get some water. Presumably it's good drinking water. You could pretend you're in a giant fox's glacier mint. Um, take some nice shots of tequila. And just hobble out of there. Back into the harsh reality. Speaking of harsh reality, it's number one. Uh, fly geezer in Nevada reached those temperatures. Uh, fly geezer, this is not um, a cockney insect that chefs do not want in their kitchen. It's a, a giant thing that expels water 12 feet high and is actually privately owned by a fella called Todd Jacksick. So maybe he's trying to make up for his relatively embarrassing name by owning a geezer. So you can just get some of the spray and just chill out man all right hope you enjoyed the vid see you later